Hey, greetings fellow nerds. I am a nerd fighting fat, and this is my weekly fat fighting update. My name is Mark, and I live just south of Salt Lake City in Utah. I've been big my entire life, and I finally feel I understand the path to losing weight. And basically, I'm fasting two times a week. I do two 36-hour fasts. I'm being active. I swim. I play Supernatural on my Oculus. Uh... I'm watching my sugar, especially high fructose corn syrup, and I try to choose lower carb choices. And this is my 41st week of being on Manjaro uh, to control blood sugars as well as help with weight loss, and I'm currently on the 10 milligram pen. Okay, so let's get to the, the numbers for this week, as my personal results for this week. Um, I lost 1.2 pounds, so for this week, I fell a bit short of my goal by several pounds, had a rough month. I uh, lost just over two pounds total for the month, so uh, after a couple ups and downs, uh, the business trip I went on, those always throw me, throw me for a little bit. Uh, camping and getting ready to camp took away a lot of my, my focus. Um, so it was a little bit of a rough month. So my current totals are the total weight loss on Manjaro. I've now lost 58.8 pounds. Year to date, I've lost 27.6 pounds. And my total weight loss from my high weight is now up to 141.9 pounds. So that said, on it was kind of harder on the weight side. I think it's probably time I need to do another body scan. So maybe next, next week I'll do one of those. Things are getting definitely getting looser. I'm trying on clothes in my almost pile, finding them fit. Um, so even though I think the scale has plateaued a bit, it feels like I've I've maybe put on muscle and lost some inches. So so definitely uh, a good thing there. So you know, symptom wise, this week um, I I took my shot last. Uh, so. I mentioned uh, the kind of camping I forgot to take a shot with me, so I kind of, I'm trying to do 10 days, 10 days, 10 days, 11 days, or how, no, 11 days, <laughs> basically a week and a half each one, <laughs> um, 10 days, 11 days. Um, so so uh, it was a little bit um, further in. It's weird, because like normally I get my symptoms, the if I'm going to get them, the day after the shot, but this time I got them like two and a half days after the shot. So it was kind of, kind of weird, but I just had one little bout and, and I know it's the Manjaro symptoms when I get, cause they're, they all kind of play together. I get a little bit of the acid burp. My stomach rumbles a little bit. I have to use the restroom. Boom. And, um, this was one and done as far as that stuff goes. So really not, bad on symptoms at all this week so um yeah so got kind of a fun one for the uh, uh fat fighting tool this week let me, let me get the uh the charger here to show you um but um i got an early father's day present and i got an aura ring so this is um I don't know if you can see the little LEDs in there that are, those LEDs are how they, they check your, your pulse, your pulse oximeter or your pulse and your, I think it checks the, it's got the pulse oximeter to check your oxygen and stuff in there too. Anyway, uh, it's, it basically, it monitors your statistics and stuff. So kind of similar to the Apple watch. Um, but it, uh, the good thing about this is that you wear it at night when you're sleeping and, um, it can track your sleep. So you have a little, little charger here that uh, if you wanted to charge it, um, this just plugs in the USB port and then your ring, whoop, <laughs> the ring just fits on there like so. And uh, and then you have like a little indicator light on that that is charging. But um, the charge lasts for, seems like two or a few days. So um, I just have to charge it here at my desk every every couple days for a couple hours and uh and then you can uh monitor your your sleep and stuff so um i do have you know 
being a bigger guy, I think it's pretty common. I have sleep apnea, so I have a, a sleep machine for that. And it monitors a few things. Um, there's a, a My Air app that they have, and basically it tells me how many times I wake up during the night and how the seal is on, on the, the mask. But it doesn't really tell me anything about um, REM or, or those kinds of things. Um, so, you know, another aspect of biohacking is, is to help you maximize your sleep. And so I definitely am not been getting enough sleep lately. Um, uh, so definitely, <laughs> uh, this has told me repeatedly that I'm not getting enough sleep, but let's take a look at the, uh, the app here. So you can see, <clears throat> this is the application. So like on this one, it is uh, readiness and you can kind of see some of the things that monitors It monitors your, your heart rate, your HRV balance, which is kind of a shift. Um, you can see here it says sleep that I need to pay attention because <laughs> I'm not getting enough. Um, it shows you like your, your heart rate while you're sleeping. Uh, again, this HRV is the shift there. So, um, there's a lot of uh, information here that I'm not super, super duper familiar with, but they've got like these, these numbers, they kind of compute for like recovery and different things and sleep balance. And so, so that's the, the readiness one. And then they, we have the sleep one, which basically gives you more information about your total sleep and your, your REM sleep and your deep sleep and kind of breaks it down. And it shows you, you know, when you're going in, when you're waking up or when you're, going into the REM or the light and deep sleep. So lots of information to kind of, kind of help look at that. And this also shows you your oxygen saturation. And again, I have a, a sleep apnea machine on, so that's usually uh, pretty, pretty good for, for me. Um, then this one is, is the activity. So it also will monitor your, your steps and those kinds of things. And I don't think it picks up swimming very well. I mean, I, the, the days I do swims and, and maybe it's my bad. I probably need to uh, log that I have done an activity or something. So it understands that, but, but, uh, um, definitely doesn't give me any, any steps or anything when I'm doing the swimming, um, that kind of thing. And then this last, last one there was the, uh, uh, resilience. Um, so anyways, that's, that's just some of the, the stuff that it, it tracks it has a bunch of different things there. So still kind of playing around with it, but, um, so far it, it's, it's good. Cause it like, uh, I think if I can maximize my sleep, then it'll help with energy and it'll help me to, um, again, have better, better weight loss. I, I really think, you know, knowing what I know now, my, my theory is that, um, sleep is important for weight loss because a lot of people are eating when they're not sleeping basically. Right. So you get that, if you get a full eight hours of sleep, then you've got a full eight hours without uh, your sugar being elevated. Um, but, but even, even then, right. Even if, uh, when I'm doing my fast and that kind of thing, it's, it's still important. So anyway, so just something, something, another tool uh, to like kind of monitor things and, and uh, see if I can, do some things to improve my sleep over the next, next, uh, couple months. Um, step one, don't crash on the couch. <laughs> actually need to go upstairs and, and go to bed at a proper time. So anyways, there you go. All right. So for my fat fighting food for the week, I, I probably totally should have recorded making my uh, Biggest Loser chili. Um, if you remember the Biggest Loser show it used to be on, that that was really one of the, it, it's, it's a great recipe. Um, it's really simple, super easy to make. Uh, fairly low, I mean, there's a few beans in it, but it's fairly low carb and it's uh, got a lot of protein and it's really clean. Anyways, um, I didn't do that, so I'll have to do that again. But uh, so I just decided I would, would uh, share with you uh, another little treat. So if you remember, I showed you these Oh Snap uh, Dilly Bites. Um, so they're, they are pretty good. Well, I also found they have a Oh Snap Gondilly. So this one 
I think is just the whole the whole pickle. So again, they keep them refrigerated so it's nice and cold, and then uh, you know, there you go. It's got a little bit of the juice in there. You got to be careful not to to spill that, but pretty good if you're on the road, need a snack. You know, pickles are pretty amazing because like this whole thing has 10 calories. You know, so two grams of, of carbs, essentially. That's the whole that's the whole thing. So um pretty clean, pretty safe to eat. It's not gonna not gonna drive your blood sugars up, it's not gonna um cause you any uh weight loss issues for sure. So Anyway, if you like pickles, now if you don't like pickles, <laughs> probably not a good, not a good option, but anyway, pretty good. Okay, so for the, <clears throat> the small victories for this week is really just more of an overall, just feeling good and more able to do things. Um. You guys remember I went I went camping uh, a week ago. I honestly don't feel I could have managed as well as I did a year ago. There's a lot of walking, loading the trailer, hooking up the trailer hitch, hooking up the connections at the camp, unhooking and rehooking the hitch. Um, I love how I, I feel now. Um, it was a lot of fun uh, doing this and. And it's kind of funny too. While I was camping, my my father-in-law he told me he loves how all my clothes just just hang on me now. And <laughs> you know, I I haven't really had a chance or a desire to buy like a new a new hoodie or new coats and stuff. I mean, it's getting warm, and and uh, so I wasn't expecting to. You know, it was when we were camping. It was there was a lot of it was rainy and kind of cold the first couple of days, and. And so my my coats are really just they really are just kind of hanging on me and and uh, you know it's just just lets me know that the progress that I've made it's it's crazy how to think that some of these things I couldn't even zip the the coats up or or uh, they were they fit me properly whereas now there's just like so much ex extra room on them so so just kind of a good feeling overall and and uh you know there's pictures of of our our camp that we had and and you can see that you know there's a bunch of elevation there and and so we kind of have a set of rule that you know you don't go number two in in the trailer if if you can avoid it and so the the bathroom we had to go down the hill there uh good little hike down there to 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 use and then hike back up and and again it's like I can do that now and not feel just like I'm dying and, you know a year ago I'm I'm sure I would have just been like absolutely winded and needing to sit down for five or ten minutes to kind of catch my breath and stuff but but yeah it's 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 good it's uh I'm finally feeling like uh like me again. So that's a wrap, you know, had a small loss, um, definitely did not hit my goal, but you know, time to keep, uh, pushing, pushing forward. Uh, got a bunch of stuff coming up here in the not too far future. Um, we are going camping one time in June again. Um, it's a place that's a little bit higher up, um, supposed to have a lot more uh, pine trees and stuff. So that, that will be fun and do some fishing and stuff up there. But, um, but I've got like basically one month until towards at the end of this month of June, I'm, uh, we are flying down to Cancun. So again, it's like, can I get smaller? You know, I, I still, even though the last trip to Dallas was really nice. I mean, we were in first class, we're not in first class this time, so I'm still a little bit uh, not a, not a fan of, of flying. But um, anything I can get off will make it that much 
that much easier. So, and then, uh, we're also going to do a trip to Washington DC now, um, in the third week or so of July. So I got a lot of traveling coming up. So, and I don't travel the best necessarily. So I got to use this month, the, what I can do to kind of really double down and, and try to, uh, you know, get my fasts in, get my, keep my carbs down. Uh, I need to start walking. Um, that's another thing that this aura ring has shown me is that my, my step count isn't, you know, I, I feel like I'm active cause I'm out working in the garden and I'm, and I'm swimming and stuff, but, um, I need, I need to do some, some evening just strolls as well. Um, you know, it's well, especially now where it's not so hot. I uh, should be taking the opportunity to do that. So anyway, going to keep press, pressing forward. And I hope you guys are having success. And uh, keep fighting the fat. Cheers. <laughs>